hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel blender Start. in this video we are going to create an eye with totally unique way it's really easy and fast way so let's get started so first of all a and delete all so come up here to the front view by pressing one on the numpad now drag any eye reference that you have you can use this one I will put a link in the description of this one or you can use any eye that you want you can simply download that from Google so I will simply drag that here and make sure our eye is in center so I will just try to roughly uh, try to make it in center like this and let's put it back a little with the y direction and coming up again to the front view and now let's shift a and add a circle and rotate that with the x direction 90 degree you can see all the keys here that i'm pressing so okay g and z and move it up here s and z to just scale it on this direction so just try to like roughly match this thing now go to the edit mode select this vertex coming up here with the proportional editing you can just s and z to just scale it on the z and move it up here and now scale it a little more and make sure that it have this kind of like corner now selecting this one and moving up here and now s z and scale that with the z a little now select these threes and move that here with the G and select this one and make it something like this corner. You don't have to exactly match it with the drawing cause uh, at my drawing there's a little mistakes or the style is pretty different so yeah I don't have to follow that. I have like a little bit knowledge of anatomy so I'm doing it by myself. So at this stage you have to create some kind of this kind of shape that you like it it can be any eye that you like it it can be like stylized realistic semi realistic and any kind but you have to just follow up the outline that you want it after that it's a straight outline but what we have to do is come up here and add a simple deform a simple deform modifier and make this one to bend and bend it with the Z uh, 45 degree something like this and yeah that's pretty cool okay now apply this modifier and coming up here to the front view again going to the edit mode select all turn off this proportional editing and A to extrude S to scale and just try to um, I will just try to match it with the reference that we have so something like this I can be like this here okay and after this select all this and we're just deselecting this one and move this to the back direction a little and now select this one also and move it to the back direction something like this it should be back enough like this now coming up here to the front view again and now it takes two and s to scale now scale it with the z direction because we need it on this direction now and now for just sake of things I just try to like scale that with the Z direction to make it a little bit like squarish but that's totally up to you that what you want it in the background cause the main thing will be this place so I'm just selecting like this and as you can see the right click i can smooth this thing now if you have like the rest of the model so you can just merge that and start sculpting or in this case i don't have any so what i will do is i will finish it like this in the square shape or otherwise you can just uh, attach it to any sculpt that you have and you can remesh and start doing that okay so let's select this one 
and now e takes root s to scale now grab it a little bit to the center and now e takes root again and y now scale this thing and now e y scale and f to fill that so kind of like this shape now as i selected the center of that so i will shift s and move the cursor to the selected coming up here to the front view going to the object mode and adding a spare here so this kind of spare with the having this kind of volume okay i always make sure that uh, the eye is a little bit to the left direction always it's not exactly in center because it will look like weird something like this now we can smooth that and now Control R and add a loop here and now Control plus and now extrude this one to the Y direction and scale this thing so now we have a kind of like feeling of I so we can do that now select these two with the proportional editing we have to just match it with the reference rotate that and now move that to the inside and same it is for this side can just rotate that with the z direction now move it back and just try to match it with your own way Make sure you have pretty enough space with this outline it looks quite good also i can add one loop here and i can just alt s and outside that a little so it have such a nice outline like this and now the more what we can do is that we can extrude this one scale that like this and now we can just add a multi res modifier for more detailing and make sure to make this outliner with the mean crease of 1 so you get a nice curve like this or you can just decrease that it's totally up to you and now I can just do this thing okay I will make this one straight but these steps are like just for uh, I want it like visually good but the rest of it it's just that thing okay now shift s uh, shift c so i can uh, in the sculpt mode i can like pick up the crease brush and now i what i will do is i will make the outline more clear i'm doing it with mouse as it don't need really uh really that kind of sculpting and the reason for that is that we already have a good topology for for the eye so our mesh is fine since our mesh is fine we don't need to like do a lot of work with the sculpt something like this and like if it snows uh, the nose kind of area so it can be like this and yeah uh, that's it uh, you can just come up here to the mock-up and turn off the overlay and as you see this is how to create a simple eye in just like uh, less than 10 minutes okay so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye